presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me is take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. I love this card. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 132, NASDAQ off 28, SPs off 20, gold contract up $8, trading at 1976 an ounce. We have the silver market flat, $23.70 an ounce, light sweet crude, up a dollar, 82.61, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 28 ticks, trading 111.04, the 30 year up a full point, plus 21 ticks at 122 flat, and king dollar. King dollar. Where are you hiding? King dollar down 514 ticks, trading 102.028. Euro 110, yen 141, British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a confirmed ABC structure on the way down, folks. The market gave it up in spades in the middle of the day. Well, first, let me show you this. I'll show you. We do price and volume first. This is going to be a trip because this is this was about as clean as you could get today how the market traded. So check this out. I get the futures up first, right? So what you're going to see here is that the downdraft that happened at 10 o'clock, right? Let me put this here so you can see this. That was a high volume downdraft. That was the biggest down volume we had, 81,000 contracts, okay? Came down 81,000 contracts, came down fast and furious, then came all the way back up, okay? Now watch what it has actually done though. All it is doing, and this is where if you pay attention to where this volume is, you're gonna basically have an edge. And what it did, it came right to where, this is crazy how this set up today, for sure. Right there, there you go. It came right to where we had come down on Thursday, no, Wednesday, right there. And uh, you know, I was just saying that Jacob and the other said, I've always you know, wondered, like it's the same person sell on the other just fight, because they fired away, man. But you can see what happened. That was a high volume on the way down. But bottom line, that, that bar there had 92,000 contracts and we were up there with 16,000. And then it just let loose. And then, of course, it just blew everything away. Now, we get an ABC down. If we take a look at the SPY, what you're gonna see here is that we pass the B point, we get volume on the pass. We were talking about the aspect that, you know, you have some, at 440, you know, you have some support. Well, you can see we're taking out the 447.37. You needed 64 million shares, we're already at 66. So it's 11.8 to B. And I'm not taking it from the very top, I'm just being conservative and taking it from uh, Mondays, ABC down. So that's how this baby's set up right now. Let me see if the Q's got down there yet. So the Q's, they're not there yet, but they're going after it, man. It's not gonna be far. So 371.77. We've hit 372.07 thus far, and now you're at trading at 372.66. If we hit it, it's going to be an ABC down. 
because it's, you know, it's going to have the volume. We're looking for 47 million. It's already done 46. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract's trading up $8.10. Gold did reject price, thank God. 149,000 contracts, okay? So this is, this is good. This is good news, man. Um, it didn't get to the, to the bottom of the range. You do have a lighter volume. If we go to, let's go look at the GLD, because you'll get more out of the GLD, because we don't, the, the volumes in the GLD, oh, that's weird. No, I see what happened. Yeah, the GLD just popped. Yeah, the GLD, that got light volume again, so that's not good. No, that's not good. GLD is not good. The notes and bonds. Now, this is really intriguing, the note and bond market, because they both save themselves. It's almost like, you know, if I didn't know better, I, hey, like, who knows? It's almost like the Fed came in and said, okay, we can't let this blow out these bottoms. Because we were at the bottom of the, it, they, both the 10 and the 30 had blown out its bottom, folks, okay? Uh, the 10 had done it today. And when I say blow out its bottom, it's a 110.25, 110.05. We went to 109.24 today, and it said, see ya, don't want to be here on the 10. We go to the 30. We take a look at the 30. Now, the 30's got a lot more work to do. That's for sure. You know, so this is a railroad track. This would be a Joe DiNapoli railroad track. You're down, you back up, and, you know, that type of pattern, the way this works, is that that, that, that type of pattern, you buy the, the next... 0.382 retracement on it. That's how this works. Down, up, you go back down again, you buy the 0.382. And then if we get over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar right now, more than likely this dollar is probably setting up an ABC structure on the way up. We got down to the price point of 101.742. Right now we're trading at 102.09. And if that's what it is, this dollar will actually blow away the swing point that I was thinking I was going to go to. Let me just do this for a second. Let's see what this looks like. 107, 800. Okay. So we're talking eight points, which would be 109. What is that one up here? That's 104. That's 106. Oh, man. <laughs> let me pull this back. This could get interesting. We're going to 109. Where's 109? Yeah, 109 is all the way up here, man. Oh, I do that right. One second. That seems like it's too much. We went from 99.5. Uh, yeah, that's, I did it wrong. Three. Thank you. Three, yeah. 104. 104. 104.5. Yeah. Uh, so 104.5 is the second highest swing point if this is an abc up so that's the way this baby's set up right now and you know we'll see if that's how it's going to shake out we have the dow the dow industrials right now trading down 108 nasdaq is off down nine s p's off 16 and a half stay right there folks come right back Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 102. We get the NASDAQ off 8. S&Ps are off 15. Let's go to our man Tony in Boston. Tony, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. So what are we going to look at today? Yeah, on this, uh, there's this uh, publicly traded opportunity fund. I'm looking at it to delay capital gains from an investment property sale. It's, it's OZ. OZ. And they're doing some big development in St. Pete, actually, I think. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. Bell, uh, Bell Point? Is that it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Merchant Growth Company, company focused on identifying, acquiring, developing, managing commercial real estate projects. Okay, so the low's 81, the high's 100. This if, is you buy, if you buy into it, you're, you know, you're gained or tax sheltered for a while, or delayed anyway. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, this, this, the, the problem I see, I mean, I'll take, I'll take a look at the, the, do you know, I mean, this is only, they only take in a year 1.4 million. Yeah. Yeah, one second. And you have, yeah, I, I wouldn't buy this thing, man. Don't even touch this thing. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, 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 so watch. The, you take in 1.4 million, right? And it has yeah. a market cap of 303 million. That's their gross, Tony, 1.4. Okay. They're probably making more than that in your real estate. <laughs> 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 Seriously, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. don't, don't touch this thing, man. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot of bucks. So tell me what you're trying to do. So you sold a piece. You're trying to do a 1031. Is that that's what you're trying to do? Well, yeah, I, I bought it with a 1031 three years ago. Now I'm, I'm trying to sell it, and then, you know, I'm going to have a big gain. So I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way to delay that. Yeah. So did you already close the first one? So you, you, you is it, is the clock ticking on you? Uh, I closed August 23rd. Okay, then you should be looking. To, I mean, I. I'd, do you want to stay in the real estate business? Uh, I think I'm going to take a step back. Okay, then maybe you should just pay the tax. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Probably going to have, probably going to, have to. <laughs> yeah. I, I, someday it was going to come due. <laughs> exactly. If you're going to step time. back, you know, don't put it in that company, man. Don't even think about it. Well, you, I mean, you're in the mm -hmm. business, you know. 
Like, are you kidding? I mean, I would, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take in a million five and they value it at 300 million. I mean, that's unbelievable, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. How's, how's life right, happening? Good. What's that? How's life been? Been good. Good? Been good. Good, good. Okay, it's man, well, listen, you things. have a great weekend, yeah, a safe things. weekend. You too. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. So at 1031, folks, what happens with a 1031 is that you can defer taxes for, you know, you can defer taxes for a long time. You can just keep doing it over and over again. And, you know, if you pass away, then guess what? You're never going to pay any taxes on that thing, just about. It's kind of like, um, but, you know, what you certainly don't want to do is... You want to make sure that when you're doing something like that, there's two different th things that happen with a 1031 that are really dangerous. It's the intermediary <laughs> because they have the money. They hold the money from the sale until the next sale is, until the next buy is made. So that's, that gets, you know, I I've seen companies go down. Let's put it this way, you know. Uh, but it's a, it's a great, it's a great, you know, tax deal. There's no doubt about that. Now, the other side of that, is the aspect is that, you know, guess what? You made money, you know, I know, pay the tax, man. <laughs> you know, I've had plenty, you've heard me talk about it. The first time that uh, goes way back, oh my God. I was at a condo meeting, I think this is 1980. And these guys are yelling and screaming they didn't want to sell because they didn't want to pay the taxes. And then like in 87 or 88, real estate crash come in in Boston, and then well, the units went, got cut in half. It was like, you know, I had said to them at that time, I was only a kid, man. I said, well, what are you talking about, that man? They had bought units at like 400,000, they were worth, you know, 1.4 million or something at the time. You know what I mean? So don't worry about paying taxes, man. That's the bottom line, so. Let's go to, uh, where we go, where we go, what do we got here? Let's go to Ray in Orlando. Hey, Ray, what's going on, man? Hey, Tom. I'm doing, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, man. Thanks. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. What are we going to look at today? Well, I wanted to look at Invex. E-N-V-X is a symbol. I'm thinking about selling some puts. Okay. Let's and I wonder what you think about this. Let's see. E-N-Z-X. E-N... V as in Victor X. Okay. I, got, I must have this wrong. Go ahead. Say it again. E is an Elaine, right? Yes. E N. Z as in Victor X. I don't. I don't have anything that comes up. Really? Yeah. E N Z X. One second. E N Z X. Yeah. Not Z. Z as in Victor. Oh, thank you. There we go. V X. There we go. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So. Okay, we provide electronic components. The company focuses on development and production of advanced silicone uh, lithium ion batteries. The low is $6, the high is $26. They're going to be coming out with their numbers next time, November 11th, November 1st. Rather, they take in $841 million and they lose money. Okay, so he's thinking of selling some puts. So if you sell puts, are you selling puts just to sell them or to get into the stock at a lower price, the stock replacement? Actually, both. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, what I would do here is try to get a bounce because I, I see what you're looking at. I mean, it looks to me like, yeah, 16, that, that big day of strength, that's where it right. wants to go, right there. Yep. You know, that's what it looks like. You got, you know, the top of that bar is 1643. The bottom of that bar is uh, 1371. You know, but you see, see how the volume's contracting uh, out here today, Ray? Yes. Don't do it today, man. That, that, that contraction is way too big because that's going into, see, it's going into like 17 million. You've only done four. Uh-huh. So that's saying that your selling's drying up right now because, you know, we just came down from 21. You want to you, you wanna wait for a bounce as long as you can get into that higher range, like somewhere inside the, you know, 1864, and if you get that with light volume, then you can fire away, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
I appreciate your help. Thank okay, you. man. Well, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. You too. Bye. Thank you. The, um, oh, you want to talk, uh, whew, look at this. Carl Icahn, he's talking about taking a hit out here today. This is a trip, and this is, this, this is not over for Icon Enterprises, folks, okay? The low for the year is 18, the high is 55. And what you have is that this gapped away today. You got a high volume low that wants to get hit at 18. You can see what happened today. They cut the dividend in half, you know, and that's, it's gonna be a problem because Icon also has so much of his stock tied up in that equity, so right off the bat, that's 33%, and you know who knows what he's gonna have to come up with. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 142, the Nasdaq's off 34, S&P's off 21, we'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrial is down 112. Nasdaq's off 25. S&Ps are off uh, 19. Let's go inside the NDX first and see what we have happening here. So you have um, Amazon's up 8.5%. You got uh, Warner Brothers is up 8%. Uh, you got Bookings up 75 Taken away from it. This one's getting smoked, man. Fortnite. Fortnite's down 24%. 24%, man. You got uh, Palo Alto's off 8%. Uh, you got Microchip off 7%. And... Um, Monster Dot, uh, is it Monster Drink? 
Yeah, Monster Beverage is off uh, 4%. Um, oh, let me go back to iCal icon for a second because the, the, the IEP, so this is what came down here. That this was pay, and you can see, the, see this dividend here, 16.05. I believe they cut that in half. That's what get, was getting people into it, pledge after cutting it. So Icon slashed his company's quarterly payout in half and pledged to stick to uh, knit, knitting and other substantial moves, acknowledging companies raised by short seller Hindenburg. Shares of, uh, you know, Icon Impresses fell 37%. The, you want to see something here? Watch this. The company's second quarter loss more than doubled from a year either. That, what do you see this? This is what's really intriguing about this. I was looking at this when it was at 30 and 40. Watch this. This is just one big write-off after write-off. This has never made money. <laughs> Look at this. 2019, lose $8 a share. 2020, $10. 2021, 267. 2022, 58 cents. Now, I suspect, you know, He's in the energy market, automotive, food packaging, home fashions. Bottom line is that you can see those numbers, though. And what this stock was all about was about paying high dividends using that equity as really a hedge fund. That's kind of how he was moving. And, you know, you can see when you pay that much money, if your stock goes up, which, which it had. Okay, this was a uh, – watch this. Uh, watch the other side of this. This went up for a long period of time, man, before it croaked. Put this on a 10-year. Uh, I'll make it 20-year. Okay, so you can see, let's see, 2006, the stock's at 19. Goes all the way up to 147, and then just cruises along between the 41 and 81. So you can, you can imagine when you get up to, you know, those higher numbers, you know, you can borrow a lot more money. And he was borrowing on his shares. So we really don't know how many shares he has on collateral right now. You know, but you can see that high volume low. That high volume low wants to get hit. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at uh, now. Let's go take a look at Apple because Apple has volume off its high. So this is going to get really intriguing with Apple. You're at 182. And we were talking about this. I was showing yesterday that the 184 was the last time that we had any volume. And, you know, it's blowing into that number. Now, the top of that is the 184.95. The bottom of that is 178. So I expect you're going to get down to 178. Now, that being said, though, watch what have happened here. That you have, I mean, I think I can do the whole trend here, which is really crazy. Yeah, you can do the whole trend. That, you know, you broke the trend. And it's like, okay, you're 182. Well, you know, you broke this conviction. You have wide price spread, accelerated volume. You know, we'll see what ends up happening down at the lower end of that high volume bar because the next high volume bar gets you down at 174. You break that, man, and then you're going all the way down to this uh, 141. You know, because they're not growing. The, the phone part's not growing, the, the service part is growing. Now we go to Amazon. And you have that new CEO, Jazzy. You know, he's been cutting expenses in a big way. Um, you know, now you get an ABC up. Watch this. Let's give it interesting. This is an ABC up. Got a monster gap. So, yeah, it's a nice ABC up, man. Yep. You're going to do it. Okay, so look at this. is a monster ABC up, too, by the way. 135. What is that, 88? Yeah, so you got 45, 47. One seventy three, man. One seventy three is the A to B equals C to D. So that's saying it wants to go all the way up here. One seventy three, and let's see what that would do. What's the high? The high is one eighty eight. One seventy three is not bad, man. That's how this the baby set up. So Amazon's just gonna keep getting bigger, man. I mean, you know, th there's no doubt that. When you take, a, I mean, a lot of things on Amazon, and what Jazzy's doing is that he's going to make it that there's going to be more deliveries, same-day deliveries. 
which is so cool, it's unbelievable. You wake up in the morning, you order something, you get back from work, the thing's there, right? Yeah, that works. Let's go take a look at some of the other high volume equities. Oh, I know, let's go into Dow Industrials first. Let me see this. Let's see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. So Amgen is putting 83 positive points, Microsoft 10. Taken away from it, Apple minus 55, Caterpillar minus 34, Home Depot minus 22. It's not that bad, really. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Oh, and what we did yesterday here, so check this out too, folks. On the composite yesterday, the volume exploded to the uh, ups, downside. See that right there? 6.1 billion? That was, that was a clue also that lower prices wanted to come at us. That's how this baby shakes out. We had, if, this, is, this is a 90 day, uh, 5, 10, 15, 45. You're looking at 45 days, 45 trading days, right? There's not one 6 billion tr trading day there. And if you take a look at it, and that's, that's what happens. That's when you know that you have more sellers than you have more buyers, than buyers. You know, you got to a lower low. We go. Take a look at the cues. Let's just see how this thing is setting up. You know, Apple's going to be just the opposite now, meaning putting pressure on the S&P and the NASDAQ as it runs into lower price. You know, we're still, you're still, you know, uh, 75 cents away from that uh, B point. Now, what's going to get intriguing is that, you know, we're in summertime trading. Monday is really normally always slow, big time. Just as Friday is now, you know, we, we have some volume out here today. So it's going to be, you know, we'll see if it doesn't break it today, if in fact um, you can break that B point inside the NDX 100 on, on Monday. Um, we go to the IWM. Yeah, see this interesting. IWM is strong. This, this hasn't really, it's been a sideways move in the IWM, so pretty wild. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading, where are you? Trading down 162, the NASDAQ's off 43, S&P's off 25. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 170, and Nasdaq's off 49. S&Ps are off 25. Let's go take a look at uh, Microsoft. One of the Tigers out here. Tigress is out here, actually. So the low is 213. The high is 366. Microsoft is still up $1.13. Yeah, I mean, this, this still has a lot of support right where we are, maybe a little bit lower. You can see, let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, Microsoft has a high volume eye. I mean, you know, it took off like a rocket ship. I mean, from, you know, 219 going all the way up to 366. But you can see, like, we came down this week, but see how the contraction of volume, 109? 109 is going into 156, so Microsoft doesn't look like it's, you know, well, if, you, if we just look at, if we, if we have a big correction, Microsoft can get right there, which is, uh, what is that, 308. And let's go see what kind of retracement that is from the bottom. Oh, that's interesting. It's a 0 0.382 retracement. So the last day with volume on Microsoft is 308, and that's a 0 0.382 retracement of the run from the lows to the highs. You know, so that's very well where you, you might want to go. We take a look at the the NQs must be getting closer. Let me look at this for a second. But I know we just the market's trying to take another leg down. It has plenty of time to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Three. Did it do it? Okay, it did it. Yeah, you're gonna have an ABC down the, in the um, Qs also. So that one there is gonna be 84, let's call it 385. Oh, I was subtracted on the other side. You get 14, which is gonna set up uh, 64, 364, where's 364? That's not bad, what's that right there, 372. This will get interesting. So see what's happening here. Now watch this. This is kind of interesting. Now this is where it gives you a heads up that the S&P might not hold the um, 340. See what's happening here? That on the NASDAQ, this thing should be holding the 372.85. Because see how, how much volume is there? And yet it's having a hard time. Because if that breaks into that area, like next week, then you're talking a whole different ballgame. Because that would be saying that that breaks into that area, the, the, you know, the, the spy will follow it on down, man. And, you know, in both cases, because the amount of expansion on this run is dramatic. So you got to remember something that just a normal 50% retracement in a bull market is a normal retracement. Now, because the numbers are so high and because we went up so fast, it's like, that's a big hit, man. Just a 0.382 in the Qs is, uh, what is that, 340. A 0.618 in the 
a 5-0, rather, is, uh, what is that, 236. So this is when it always gets intriguing. We know that, you know, what we do have here is that because of the way that you get summer trading, you have markets that, you know, coming into the aspect of, <clears throat> excuse me, October is always a problem. Not always a problem, okay? But it lines up quite a bit. That, that's, that's how it does shake out, you know? That if you're going to go down, you know, many times you'll start down, you know, we're already into August. You know, so many times I've seen you really start down in July. Start down in July, drives everyone out of their mind, and by October, you're coming back out. The, the lows are normally reached in September, though. That's what normally happens, okay? It's just that it's so vicious on the way down that maybe it's the first couple of days of October or the end of September, and then they basically start coming back up the other side. We go take a look at the GDX. Let's see what this baby, when I looked up the GLD, it didn't have enough volume. This doesn't either. So we're not, we're not done. This is going to get tested again, man. We have, the GDX can only do 13 million. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah. Well, the good news is that we're coming into 118 million, but you did 96. The low of that is 29.27 or 29.50. That's, that's a close call, man. That's telling me, oh, I see what's happening. Look at this. Yeah, see, this is good. But the low of that can get hit. That's the strength. That's 2834. 2834 is game. That, that's game in this, in this uh, GDX because of the fact, you see where I went there? I went that sign of strength from the last time that we went higher. That's a nice sign of strength. That's, that's a monster sign of strength, actually. And let's go to the TLT because uh, it almost looks like yeah, the TLT also is up a buck eighty. Oh, this never made the lows. Okay, well that's good news. Cause these rates, man, oh baby. So right now, the ten year is at four point zero three. We hit four point one seven yesterday. And just think, folks, even three months ago, you're at three point three. Six months ago, you're at 3.3. .3. A year, oh, one second. Look at that, that's a crazy man. A year ago, we were still at 2.6. 2.6, unreal. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of different dynamics happening simultaneously. It's gotta be really interesting to see if, if the Fed was kind of in there buying those, saying, okay, enough's enough. We're not going to let it get blown away. Because at some point, at some point, you know, because there's so much debt that is out there, it's, it's going to affect, it's going to affect, you know, it affects everything. There's no doubt about that. You know. We got to take a look at the, so let's go look at the diamonds and see how they set up. Because the, okay, so the diamonds are an ABC down too. It's a small one though. Let's see, one second. It might not be one either because... What may have happened is that it might have did a 0.618. Yeah, the diamonds is not one. The reason the diamonds wouldn't be one is that it did more than a 0.38, more than a 618 retracement on the way back up, trying to get into its highs. For an ABC down or up, folks, okay, the bottom line, ABC down, you want to come down on volume, up on light volume, down on volume. You can't do more than a 0.618 retracement on the way back up. This is the C to D point. The, the Dow did more than that, okay? So that's not the strict definition of an ABC structure on the way down. We get into the uh, S&Ps again, and they're going to flush these things, man. Let's see what we got. This is quite a move out here today, man. We haven't had a 60-point move in a long time. This is actually a 65-point move from the highs to the lows. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 173. Nasdaq's off 58. S&P's off 26. We'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 160. We get the NASDAQ off 46. S&Ps are off 23. Let's go into the volume characteristics for the NYSE. That's not going to be bad. It's going to be about 85900 in composite. Yeah, the composite's going to get hit again. We did 6 billion yesterday. Composite will do about 5.5 billion today. We go to the spy. We know that the spies and ABC structure down. Took the B point out. Took it out with volume. You needed uh, what do we need? We needed 64 million to get 81 million. So, it's game here down to this 440. We'll see what ends up happening. It's 6 points down from where we are right now. And off the high, it's uh, 19 points down. What's going to get really intriguing here is that, you know, depending on how you do it, you know, this is a break with conviction, you know, right at the gap, too. You know, so it's like, okay, you, you'll dig into this 440, but if we dig into that with volume, guess what, man? You can be right at, right where we broke topside from, you know, which was somewhere in the 415 area. And you always better remember that, the market takes the escalator up and the elevator down, you know. It's always faster on the way down dramatically than the way up. On the way up is always little by little by little, grind by grind by ground, and on the way down, it's like, boom, you're down like in two seconds flat. And they just grab it all back. Well, you can see, I, I'm sure that, you know, I mean, people have made so much money on Apple, you know, this is pretty intense because when you take a look at Apple, Whoever 
bought Apple going all the way back to May 31st, you know, right off the bat, boom. You know, um, you know Apple's got, the Apple has volume off the high. You get volume off the high, you're going a lot lower. That's how this shakes out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, habits, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks. <laughs>